Hi guys! Okay, I'm gonna try to make some sort of a creamy mushroom dish. As you know, or should know, mushrooms are very meaty. I love mushrooms, haven't met one I don't like. This is lion's mane, and I've done a couple experiments with lion's mane where I made them into a steak. Um, I'm gonna today saute them first. I've got a bit of, uh, I think these were yellow oyster mushrooms. Both packages I got marked down. I have more of the yellow mushrooms, and I'm gonna just kind of do a little bit of a mix in here with these. I'm gonna wash them up, um, pan fry them with like some vegan butter and garlic, and I'm gonna then try to make a, a creamy sauce to go with it, where you could have with like mashed potatoes or noodles. My daughter showed me some sort of creamy uh, dish that I popped up on Instagram. I think it was for chicken, but I'm like, well, we can veganize that. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start by washing. Uh, there's a part of me that's like, should I make steaks to this? Maybe I'll use just a little bit of this and I'll make a steak with the other port portion. I didn't show you how I made the steaks, but I'll see if I do or if I don't. All right, guys, I'm gonna get started. So to start, I'm going to, I'm gonna show you what I'm leaving behind. I just really feel like I wanna try making steaks with this. This is a nice big piece and I'm so far keeping this for steaks, and I'm just gonna take the mushrooms I have here, which I've washed, I'm gonna just split them up. I'm gonna get them on the cutting board. I'm gonna put them into morsels. Easy to do with the oyster mushrooms. As I said, I believe these are yellow oyster mushrooms. Now someone said you don't have to wash mushrooms, you can just sort of get a damp cloth and wipe them off. But I've washed them and I'll get a damp, I'll get a cloth and dry them, pat dry them. Just cutting them into smaller pieces for the pan frying. This has soaked up a lot of the water I washed it with, so I'm just going to pull it apart. Ooh, got a lot. I'll, I will definitely be getting rid of the moisture. But just showing you first how I'm gonna break it into pieces for my pan frying. So I forgot I was going to use butter and I put some oil in the pan, but I've taken out most of it. I'm going to now add uh, my vegan butter. I'm just using basil right now. I'm gonna get this in the pan. I'm going to add some garlic for sure and some rosemary. Now the garlic I'm just gonna kind of flatten and crush but not um, dice. Um, and get it in the pan to have the flavor start to infuse. Okay, so I've just kind of flattened the garlic a little bit to open them up, have the flavor come out, but not be, hopefully it doesn't burn as much this way. Probably put that a little lower. I'm going to get rosemary and just put some in the pan. This is just dried rosemary and I'm not even measuring so let's say like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I'll see how the flavors seem to smell. And obviously when I make the um, the cream sauce, that's when I'm gonna infuse more flavor and so forth. It's on a medium lowish heat. I'm just gonna start putting pieces in. Maybe small batch fry them. I might need a bit more of my butter. But this is how we do it, like this. So I started off with a kind of a medium heat, maybe a little medium lower, and I'm putting the heat up a little higher. I've started with some pieces, as you see they're nice and golden brown. I'm now adding the rest. I might take out some of the other pieces. Uh, I'm gonna try probably as much as I can to I don't know, get the liquid out. I don't know if it's necessary. On one hand, I want these a bit crispier, but then on the other hand, I'm gonna be putting a cream sauce, so we'll see how that goes. But I might take the ones that are more done out after sort of squeezing out the liquid. And when you think you have too, mushroom, too, too many mushrooms, sorry, you realize they shrink. So I still think this is a good amount for 
uh, either the pasta or mashed potatoes I'll, I'll put this with. Okay, look how nicely brown they are. So just taking my time to slow cook them. Looks yummy, smells delicious. And I'm now gonna be testing, I will be doing the creamy part. And I bought the Violife Parmesan that you have to grate. So it's gonna be my time to test and review that. So now I'm letting my lion's mane sit aside and I'm going to boil my pasta. Salt your water. Do you guys know some chefs believe you should salt the water to where it tastes like the ocean? That might not be enough salt, but it's okay. I'm gonna be obviously putting uh, flavor into the my pasta dish as it's cooking. But yeah, definitely salt your water. Unless you really don't want salt, that's fine. But salting your pasta tastes so nice. I'm using a linguine pasta. You can use spaghetti. I'm gonna use linguine. It's a little, you can use fettuccine. So linguine is a little fatter than spaghetti, not quite as big as fettuccine. I also, when I boil my water, just to help the step pasta to not stick together, I put in a little bit of oil. So I'm gonna put a little oil in there as well. I should point out that for this recipe, I'm using about half of my package of the linguine and it's 450 grams. I'm just taking out about half because it's just for me and my daughter. So I'm gonna just, oftentimes I will break the pasta in half, but sometimes when you want it whole, you just put it in like this, and depending on the size of your pot, obviously let it start to boil, let that soften, and then I'll just press it all down in so the whole thing boils. Does it make sense? I'll show you in a moment what I mean. So once one side starts to soften up, I just sort of start to push a little bit. You can take your spatula, spoon, whatever, and also push. Guide it all into the pan. Might be easier to do that with some tongs. So now as the middle part is por portion has been boiling and getting softer, I'm just getting tongs and pushing all of it in. So this way it's gonna boil and you're going to have longer pieces of pasta. And you're gonna to boil to the consistency you like, al dente or a little softer. I tend to like a little softer than al dente. So my pasta is good, it's just how I like it. It's drained. I'm going to start making my cream sauce for which I'm using the Violife Parmesan wedge portion, which I have grated some here. So I'm gonna get started with that. I'm gonna once again saute some garlic and onions this time in the pan with um, more vegan butter and then add in the mushrooms and the pasta. So I'm just using the same pan that I already had sauteed the mushrooms and other items in. I'm putting, that's like about a tablespoon of vegan butter. I might add a little more, we'll see. And I'm, to that I'm adding one small diced onion. I'm gonna put it a little lower so it's like a slow caramelization a little bit, but I'm not sure how it feels about that right now. I'm hungry, wanna eat faster. I'm also going to crush and slice a couple garlic cloves and put in there as well. I'm also gonna add a couple leaves of thyme from my thyme plant. That thing has just not stopped growing. You can put fresh leaves in there. I'm just putting a couple of the dried ones. And yeah, I'm gonna take this off the heat. So I've got the crushed and diced garlic that I'm gonna to add to the pan. Give it a little mix. I want the garlic to start getting beautifully fragrant. I'm gonna put a bit more rosemary in here as well. Rosemary. About half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon to whatever your taste tells you to do. Give it a mix. And now I'm gonna get my milk in here. Now if you have the silk cream or the basil heavy cream, you could do that. I don't right now, so I'm just using one cup of the whole next milk. 
I'll see how it goes if I need a bit more. So I'm going to measure out how much I grated of the cheese. I'm going to get it in, start to mix it, and you're going to taste. Taste is going to tell you how you like it. So one cup of next milk and however much of the cheese you need, which we'll decide in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to give it a mix. I'm going to let this just sort of simmerish for about a minute before I add the cheese. And you'll see that I grated up exactly half a cup. So that's pretty good. Just about half. If it needs to thicken up, you can always add a little bit of flour, but we're going to take, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And so far, the one cup of milk is looking like it's a good amount, but we'll see. You can always add more as necessary. Oh, oops. <laughs> so I thought I was filming. I just added the half cup of cheese and I've just mixed it around. I'm gonna t let it um, simmer for a little bit and then taste it, see if it tastes like enough cheese. Let me give this a taste. Mmm. Has a nice flavor. Lots of garlic. Um, I think I do wanna add a tiny bit more cheese to this. Just a so little. I'm gonna say, let's put three quarters of a cup. I might add more milk, we'll see. But you can see it's getting thicker already. So I think what I'm going to do first is add the pasta because that way I'll know if I have enough milk. Okay, so I have the pasta in here. Just going to give it a mix. I might add it. I'm trying to do this while holding my camera since my tripod camera memory card ran out of space. I might fix that, <laughs> but essentially this is what you're going to do. Okay, so now I've added the pasta, which I think looks nicely coated, but I might put a little more milk, we'll see, because I'm going to be adding the mushrooms. Okay, just putting the mushrooms on top. You just want to incorporate them. I cannot wait to eat this. And just because I feel like we could possibly use a little more milk, I'm just gonna pour. It's maybe like an eighth of a cup. Add whatever you want. Uh, in terms of the milk, you want to make it a little creamier. You can even add a little water. But yeah, so far this is looking good to me. And all that's left now is for the taste test. My water tasted like half the ocean in terms of the saltiness. So maybe not like, it could have been saltier. It just depends again. Some people don't want to put any extra salt. Okay, here we go. Just tasting the pasta. I tasted a mushroom, it was really good. I'm gonna tell you guys, I had tried making the lion's mane mushroom like a steak. I put the red food coloring, I kind of sauteed it and drained it in the pan. How I did it now, sauteing it with the garlic butter, so good, I prefer it this way for sure. So the steaks that I've saved, I'll probably just saute in garlic butter and enjoy. So there's this pasta, let me just taste. Mm. Super good. Beautifully garlicky. I will definitely add more Parmesan cheese on top as well to kick up the cheese flavor. It's kind of like a mild cheese flavor, I would say. But you know, adding anything to the top is where you're, you're gonna ha taste more of the flavoring. Oh, look at that. I feel like I should taste a mushroom just to let you guys know. Okay, I'll taste a mushroom. I'll taste that little piece of mushroom that just fell off right there. I don't know which one this is, but this, as you know, is a mix of both the oyster and the lion's mane. Well, let me taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that tastes so good. I think it was an oyster. If you don't like mushrooms, I don't understand you. Mushrooms are so good and really fill in that that meatiness that you might be craving or that we all like. We, we, you don't have to enjoy meat to enjoy that meaty flavor. Mushrooms have been around forever and people have always loved mushrooms. That's all for now, guys. This is delicious. 
see you in the next video.